Next one I'm going to show you is a, a mackerel cutlet. Okay? Got a nice frozen mackie there. You cut it diagonally. Okay? Do that. To the gut. Alright. Nice little thin cutlet there. Can you see there? Yeah, I got it. Your shadow's just in the way. Okay, good nice. Two nice little Mackey cutlets. Get some foam. You're going to match it up there. Same size. You got foam that's it's roughly the same size as your cutlet, okay? Okay. Put it together. And we bind it. So you haven't presented the hook to this yet, eh? So it's a lot easier to work with. Pre made up bait. Yeah. Put it in the freezer, put it on the next day. Yeah. Okay, that's the standard one. You can now hook this if you want to. What I like to do is get some chocker. Yeah. Slide it Take the skin off. So we cut it in rings. Yep. Calamari. Show you. Why do you cut it in green? I'll show you. It's easy to open up. Get a nice long piece. Okay, if you look at the, the chocker, there's a really little thin piece over there. That's where you want to cut it through. Okay, because that's useless, that little thin piece. You open it up. Take the guts out and all the plastics. Two little tentacles. A little bit longer. Right, let me get a chocolate hammer. What I like to do is also take the insides here, yeah, and while you're beating it, you. Bob the tentacles, huh? <laughs> Side. This black stuff is good stuff, eh? The ink. Squeeze it over there. Yeah, good, good scent dispersion. You never throw the insides of a chuck away, use it, eh? Deadly. Okay, that's your basic jobby. Now we present the hook to it. Okay, you want the hook to go in like that. Turn it upside down. You've got to try and miss the, um, the foam. Cool. Again, you can use a toothpick made through the eye of the hook to keep it firm and you can bind it again. Lock it onto the hook, you can lock it on the line as well. Okay, this one you can clip and hoi a mile. Great for flatfish, lots of movement, tentacles, good for cob as well. Alright, happy?